Martin could be watching this. Is there a yeah. message that you yeah. want to like, if he hears you out? Um, yeah, I mean, I mean. So yeah. eventually you get your name buzzing in DC. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then how do we then migrate to Hollywood? Um, I st there's, there's a, there's a, there's a amateur, then you have a uh, opening act, you know, MC, a feature, and then a headliner. I had just started moving to the feature spot, which is a 30 minute spot. Right. And Martin had left, he went to DC, he went to LA and Tommy Davidson. So I went to see them, I think it was the summer of 1990 or, or, or 89. Tommy Davidson was doing the pilot of Living Color mm. and Martin was doing House Party. And I went to see him on the set um, of Lemon Color. Martin was there in the background. I was like, what's up, Martin? And all of them were like, yo, you got to come, P. You got to come to L.A. Fuck all, you know, damn D.C. You know, come on. And I said, all right, cool, cool. I said, oh, man. So I went home and I said, at that moment, I said, you know, let me, let me just get out and see what I can do. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I got 30 minutes of material here in, uh, here in Maryland and stuff. Let me hang out with the big boys. And I always felt like I, I was right on par with Martin and Tommy. They just moved faster yeah. than I did. They yeah. went out. And then I remember coming out to... Um, to LA, and I was a big fan of Martin, you know, because DC, anybody from DC, I just love, I, I support him, I watch him, I push him up. I saw Martin at a club, I was like, Martin, I'm here! He's like, all right, good, good, good you're here. Walk by, I was like, he hit you the with fuck? the, uh, yeah, hit me with that. The um, Barnell Hill episode. Okay, okay, maybe remember that? Hill. Yeah, I remember that Barnell Hill, yeah. Tommy right. Davidson played right. Barnell right. Hill, he told him, uh, he said it was just Hollywood talk or something right. called Right, 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 well, that, that, okay, I didn't think about that, but yeah, I was like, damn, okay, maybe, uh, you know, I was excited to see him. Like, oh, you know, like Martin, you here? I'm here, brother. And he, and he gave me, yeah, good. You all right? Cool, man. Do your thing. Well, I was like, what were you expecting? Maybe like, yo, what's up, B? Oh, look, look, let me try to help you get out, get on. Let me show you who you talk to. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Because that's what I would do to comics when they came after me. Yeah. You know, yo, this is my man from DC. To, to a club owner, hey man, you know, the local club on boom, or tell him, yo, call me, you have a conversation, we, we can talk. Because I know how lonely it is out here when you first come to LA. Sure. I get it, man. I get you, you need that infrastructure of some comics to help you out and to guide you some way. Well, whatever. It didn't, ha it didn't happen for me, but I wouldn't do it to someone else. So whenever yeah. Young Comics came out or Comics came out, sure. they could always call me up, come get something to eat in my crib, or I'll tell them where, where a spot was, you know, yeah. whoop -de whoop Even if I'm filming something, get on in, what man. What was this, like, a few weeks after being in L.A.? Like, how, how quickly did you run across Martin? Uh, yeah. Probably within a month, about a month or two, about a month, yeah. So I was so fresh out. fresh out there. Yeah. Didn't know nobody. You were a fan of Martin. Hell yeah. Running up to him. Yeah, yeah. You know him, hometown homie. Yep. He kind of like, kind of dismissed you. He, he didn't give me the love I thought I was going to get. I, I was going to get. What's I'm your being immediate, what's going on in your head when that plays fuck out? Fuck that nigga. <laughs> Shit, fuck him. I mean, at that point, I'm like, really, dude? Like this? Like, what the fuck, man? That's how you one told me, fuck, come on out here. Fuck, uh, standing a year ago. Well, I think about a year ago. Like a year ago, you know, right. leave, leave. And I'm thinking, okay. Now, I'm going to tell you, through the years, I realized that, like, I get the, don't nobody owe you shit. I yeah. get that whole thing. I get that. And as I started, you know, I realized they out there hustling too. They trying to get yeah. spots too. But I just felt like if we're DC, we, we help, we go help each other, man. We're going to look, look out for each other, brother. You know, I'm just thinking that we yeah. should. That's my mentality. I'm not saying it's correct, but I just felt like we came up. We know the same clubs at home. We know the struggles from home. So we out here, help each other out. Or at least guide me. I ain't telling you, you gotta hold my hand somewhere, but say, P, call this dude, do this dude, mm. boo the boo. Now, um, the next time I saw Martin, he said something to me. He said, um, well, to be honest with you, I was shocked. I mean, I think I know where it came from. He, 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 he did a show at, at the Comedy Act Theater. I think okay. executives came to see him about something. I came to support him still. I didn't give, you know, whatever. And um, he told me about a movie called Class Act. I think it was Class Act. I think it was Class Act. I remember walking by me, he said, yeah, they, 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 you should talk to this lady named Robbie Reed. She, she, the movie called Class Act. Okay. He said, I shouldn't be telling you this shit since you talk shit about me. And I was like, what? I was like, damn, okay. And then, you know, I was like, okay. And I'm thinking, who did I talk shit to, to him about? You know, that, that, he, that he would know. Because I did tell yeah. my roommates, yeah. but my roommates didn't know from what he did. Yeah. But I was like, damn, dude. And ever since then, man, we're cool. I still love him. I'm happy for him. You know, I'm, I really am happy for him. He's doing great. So... I don't have no animosity no more for that. Yeah, you know? I get never, it. I get the game. It wasn't. It wasn't necessarily personal. Yeah, he was just who he was. So right? y'all never got to kind of like clear that up. No, no, we never. We never. No, we never really talked about it. You know, but it's, you know, we talking what twenty years ago, maybe over twenty yeah, years ago. I mean, but then looking at the story, did you go to the Def Jam, the Netflix twenty five? Yep. Mm -hmm. So in looking at that, you guys are kind of like you guys did Hollywood. Mm -hmm. So it would be nice at the end of it that y'all both can stand. The, together and kind of look at it. Oh, look what we did. Sure. You, know, you did sure, your thing. Sure, sure, sure. At one time, DC was ruling shit. 
you know, comedy wise. For sure. Think about it. The Tommy Davises, the Martin Lawrence, the Wanda Sykes, the Monique, the Dave Chappelle, the Ashley Larry. I mean, everybody was ripping, you know? Yeah. So I feel like it's a unity. I'd be proud to tell somebody I was from there. So um, I wish we were a little, you know, more of a, a family family situation. But it, hey, you know, fuck it. It's, 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 it's How not do you a team think sport. that? What do you th- and, uh well, one, I got I got two questions on this. What do you think is needed to to get you guys in the right place? Is it too late? Oh, me and him, you oh, and Martin, oh, the oh. unity of DC. Um, that's a good question, man. That's actually a good question, man. That's actually a good question because I had proposed a, a festival, a comedy festival, with DC comedians. Mm-hmm. You know, it came back. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of comments that came through DC and from mm-hmm. DC, from Earthquake. I mean, so many. I mean, so many comedians, man. Um, well, this is the time. I mean, we're too old to still still be arrogant and, or dumb about dumb shit, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We have a legacy, man, of of comics from DC that should get together and do something, man. But I don't. I don't know, man. Because I, mean, I don't know how. I don't know how Martin. I don't know how he is. Is he down to work with us? You know. I don't know. You know. You might yeah. be like, Nah, man. Fuck all. I don't do it. Okay. Then. Then. You know. He's one of the major cogs in the. In the. You know. In the puzzle. You know. The pieces that would help it. You know. Yeah. But if you don't want to do it for whatever reason, it is what it is. But I think it's a shame, man. Because again, yeah. you know, comedy. Comedy was kind of floating in the middle of nowhere until the 90s, until Def Jam came. You know, you had about two or three people that were doing big stuff, Eddie mm-hmm. Murphy, whoever. And then all of a sudden, we became a group of us. Now, comedy has, has changed. Comedy, you were a goofy dude doing comedy at first to people's mentality. Now you right. can be sexy and rich and be, you know, like, damn, you know, right. it's, it ain't embarrassing to say you're a comedian. Right. Back when I first started, you'd be like, yo, comedian? Oh, clown ass nigga, you clown, motherfucker, you know? Now it's like, oh shit, okay, what you, you know, it's, it's a different look. So I think we helped usher that whole thing in. Some DC comedians, you know? And I just think, you know, it'd be dope if we could get together and, and do that. But like I said, I don't know and, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You might, I, I, Martin could be watching this. Is there a yeah, message that you yeah. want to, like, if he hears you out? Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, it, it, yeah. It, it'd be dope to get the comedians together and do a festival, a, a comedy festival in DC with, with the major DC comedians. I yeah. mean, there's so many of them. You can do... Damn near, damn near 15 a night, you know what I'm saying? And, and you got some, some good ass comedians. You know, some, this is some comics in DC that's tough as hell that you know, that need to be seen. But um, someone needs to pull the trigger, you know, and, and mm-hmm. believe in that, you know, and, and, and move that arrogant and I need this much money, I don't do this, I want to move that to the side, man. Think of the legacy, man. You know, are you that poor that you need all that money? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm making right. a number up, but like, I ain't doing it, I get a half a million dollars. Do you need, that's gonna ruin the whole shit. We can't get everybody in there if you get that money. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Is, are you that broke, nigga, to, to, to get that? You know what I'm saying? Whoever the comic is that's holding out. Let's just work and just, just get this thing done. Yeah. To me, you know, I think it'd be dope special, you know? A Netflix special. A special with, be, yeah. yeah, hell yeah, DC Comics, man.